Welcome to part 10 of our Space Invaders tutorial videos, and this is another bonus video. So we already have the basic functionality of our game, but we're just making it a little bit more realistic, a little bit better. And in this tutorial, we're going to talk about meteors. Now, meteors are objects that are placed in front of the player as like a blockade. So a meteor would go, there's usually three or four that would go somewhere down here, right in front of the player, and the player would not be able to fire through them, but after firing multiple missiles at the meteors, the meteors would get smaller and smaller and smaller until the meteors disappeared, and that would also reduce the coverage of the player, but allow them to fire a little bit more. So we're gonna make three meteors, and to do this, we're gonna need a couple different variables and things going on here. I'm gonna make a new variable section up top in global called meteors, and we'll use the M uh, as our label. Now, Let's start by doing M1X for Meteor 1, and I'm just gonna set the X position off to the left-hand side. M1 for Meteor 1, var M1Y. Let's put this way towards the bottom, just in front of our player. And because I want the meteors to shrink as we fire them, we need to use different sizes for each meteor. So they're all gonna start at the same size, but they're gonna shrink at their own rate. And I'm gonna make our size, I'm gonna make them perfect squares or perfect circles, so we're just gonna do one size. We don't need a width and a height. So we're just gonna do var m1 size, and let's set that equal to 50. So let's just copy this whole thing, and I'm just gonna say square, so one size for w and h. I'm gonna copy this whole thing here and paste it two more times for meteor three. Meteor 2, M1 for Meteor 2, M3 for Meteor 3. All right. Now we also need a variable for our image. We're going to have an image for our meteor. So we'll just call var, var meteor image. Okay. Let's start with that. Let's go ahead down to our preload. And let's associate meteor image with a load image. And I'm just gonna check in my files menu here real quick to see what my meteor image is called. Rock.png. All right. Now, we're gonna need quite a bit of code for our meteors. So we're actually going to make our own function for the meteors, just like we've been doing to separate various things. So let's scroll and find our, uh, our spacing where we can put these. I think we're gonna put them right here below our aliens. So find your close aliens, and let's make a new function called meteors. I like to close meteors right away. And first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna draw our actual meteors, okay? So let's just draw meteors on the screen. So that's gonna be the image command. First parameter is meteor image. Second parameter is the X position. So that's M1X, M1Y, M1 size, M1 size. Again, same size for width and height because it's square. Uh, I'm gonna copy this two more times and change our ones to twos. Oops, and then threes. And we need to call the meteor function in draw before this works. So let's scroll up to draw real quick. And let's just add a section called meteor function and call it in our draw. And we should be able to see our three meteors. Interesting. I only see one. I believe that's because I did not change my positions up in global. No, I did not. So obviously we need different positions for each meteor. So I have the same position set for meteors one, two, and three. Uh, the Y position is going to be the same, but I'm going to space them out every 200 pixels. So meteor two should be 300 and meteor three should be 500. Let's give that a try. Perfect. Three meteors ready to go. 
So we have our three meteors. Now we actually have to make the collisions happen. And of course the collisions with the rockets and make them shrink. So let's scroll down to our meteor function here. Find where we drew our meteors, right here. And obviously once we set this up for one meteor, we'll just be able to copy and paste this uh, with all the other ones. So rockets, collisions with meteors, meteor one. Now this is going to start with a similar collision to how we collided with our players and the rocket. So it's going to be if R1x is greater than or equal to M1x minus M1 size divided by 2. So that's greater than the left hand side. And then R1x is less than or equal to M1x minus M1 size. Oh, I'm sorry, M1, M1x plus M1 size divided by 2. It's x direction. And, and R1x is, is greater than or equal to M1y minus M1 size divided by 2. And, and R1x is less than or equal to M1y plus m1 size divided by 2. All right, so that means that the rocket hit meteor. Now, two different things are going to happen. If the meteor is still in large size, because every time the rocket hits the meteor, the meteor has to shrink a little bit. And if the meteor is still at a certain size, the rocket's going to make the meteor shrink, and then it's going to return back to the player. If the meteor has passed its minimum size, so the meteor is super small, well then the meteor is going to disappear, and then the rocket's going to return to the player. So we're actually going to put an if statement inside of this if statement. So if m1 size is, let's say, greater than or equal to 20, and remember we start at 50, so that's going to require about four hits or so to actually make the meteor shrink. If M1 size is greater than or equal to 20, so meteor is still there, well then M1 size equals M1 size minus, say, 10. Make meteor smaller. Then let's say R1 position equals 2. Send rocket back to player close hit meteor else so this is we are not greater than 20 so that means that the meteor is small m1x equals negative 1000 move off screen r1 position equals 2 send rocket back to player close else meteor small close collision with meteor. All right, lots of code, we have no red. Oops, I just realized guys, this was supposed to be R1Y. I put R1X twice here. So this is supposed to be R1Y, my mistake. Let's try that again. There we go, smaller, smaller, and gone. So now that we have this working fully, let's just copy and paste this two more times. So this guy is now from Meteor 2. So all these M2s, including the M size, M2 size, M2, M2 size, 2, 2, and then down here, 2, all the way around. Good. Let's copy this and paste three. Twos become threes. All right, I believe we got it. Let's give this a shot. So meteor one, 
Meteor 2. And Meteor 3. Perfect. There we go.